Welcome again to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. Um, there's no music today because I still have to figure that out. It didn't turn out so well, but that's okay. I can live without that. Today's a special weekend because it's WrestleMania weekend! And as a little special thing, I'm going to do some predictions. Unfortunately, my girlfriend is at work. She works as a photographer, so she had to go do photography stuff. Later tonight, I'll go hoboing, because my name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is at her job. My cat in the background, you might see her. And this is the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. Again, it's just me today. So please like and subscribe. Also. Feel free to email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Again, I'm going to keep on plugging this every so often. Um, Southern Pro Lucia Libre. Again, I will be having posts about that as soon as I can get to a show. But more importantly, the show's tonight and even more important tomorrow. So these are the predictions for first TakeOver, and then I'll do my WrestleMania predictions. So with NXT TakeOver, that's actually the one I can see because, again, I'm not working today. Um, tomorrow I have to work a little bit at my job, somewhat. I won't be able to see the whole show, and again, I did bad things. Bad hobo. And I'm banned from live streaming because I've somewhat figured out how to live stream I think I think that's a whole other issue um, so right now we're going to go NXT takeover predictions I'm not too sure what order the matches they're gonna be in I just kind of got these off online um, the first thing we have the undisputed era with Adam Cole baby and Kyle O'Reilly versus the authors of pain Versus Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. Um, this should be a really fun match. Office of Pain, I know, aren't winning. They'll probably be coming up to the main soon. I don't know if it would be Raw. Probably Raw. I just hope Paul Allen comes with him. If not, I can... That's okay. My prediction for this, just to make things a little bit interesting, I want to see Strong and Pete Dunne win those titles. I think it's time... Although... Yes, Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne, and they can drop them to when Bobby Fish gets healthier. So I, I shall say Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne, new NXT Tag Team Champions. Um, next one, next match, we have Ember Moon versus Shayna Baszler. I think Ember Moon's going to retain. I think I don't think Shayna Baszler's been there long enough to warrant a run. And this could at least prolong the feud. Ember Moon's a good champion. Not as strong as Asuka. But again, Ember Moon retained. The next, and I'm wearing my DIY shirt, Gargano y Ciampa. Again, Johnny Gargano, a number one in my book for, for, get, for cracking a smile towards my nephew, who was wrestling this merchandise. That I got from Pro Wrestling Tees at ProWrestlingTees.com. Again, 20% off all your purchases, I think, until the 9th. Or t yeah, 9th. So in this, you have an unsanctioned match. This should be fun. If NXT was smart, Tommaso... Ch no, Johnny Gargano would go over. So that way he can come back and be rehired and just prolong the feud with Tommaso Ciampa. And again, that, that should be fun because WrestleMania season is kind of when we restart things anyway. Then we have the North American title tournament or the ladder match. I'm sorry, not a tournament. Tournaments are fun. Ladder matches are better though. So we have Killing Dane versus Lars Sullivan versus EC3. Versus Adam Cole, baby! 
versus the Velveteen Dream versus Ricochet. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ricochet could do so much with the ladder. My heart says Ricochet. But my brain says Adam Cole, baby! So again, we have Adam Cole, baby! Winning. And then in the main event, we have Alexander Black versus Andrade Cien Almas. I can't see Almas as this transitional as a champion. I want to say Almas wins. Almas retains his championship. So, just to make a quick recap, I have Strong and Dunn, Ember Moon, Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, Baby, and Alma. So, again, I think it should be about a two hour long show. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, sounds about right. And now, so you lose the NXT shirt. The Macho Man for the show of shows. Again, very low production value here at the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. So we go to the show of shows, WrestleMania. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see most of the pre show. I can only get home and kind of the main show might start. The only knock I have on WrestleMania's, it's a long seven to eight hours. And they just seem to keep on getting longer and longer. And this, I wouldn't be surprised if this pushes nine hours. So to start off, and again, I think this is the pre show. I don't know what order it's going to be on. We have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. It, this is so hard because they've done so little with past champions. But I'm going to make a bold prediction. I don't think anyone's ever said this name yet. Samoa Joe. With his techno Godzilla music is going to win. And we'll see what happens there. In the Women's Battle Royal, again with this, it's... I almost want to say Becky Lynch is the lock to win. No one else does anything with the exception of Bailey and Sasha Banks. I don't see one of those winning, though, for some reason. I just want to see them eliminate each other and therefore continue this feud for a while. My catch then we have, again, unfortunately, the cruiserweights are on the pre-show. They could really steal a shit with this. And that's Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali. Jeez, Mustafa Ali is so good, but Cedric, I think, is just the man to take it. And it would be nice only with the fact that with the whole Enzo Mori, he was next in line. So I think He'll, he'll he'll get his due, and then if it lasts until the, and honestly, if if it lasts until the next pay per view, I'm okay with that. That's that's pretty good. Then we get to the main show and <laughs> start off the same way we did last year, with a Shane Shane O Mac match. So you have Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Owens and Zayn. I can't see them getting rid of Owens and Zayn. Owens and Zayn win. Daniel Bryan's not getting, he's not doing the job. Shane O'Mac's eating the pen. So, Owen and Zayn wins. Then we have the Down Women's Championship, Bliss versus Jax. Jax, I'll say Nia Jax, only with the fact is I'm not a big Mean Girls fan. So, Nia Jax goes over. And again, this can set up things. For, and if she loses it, another pay-per-view, I'm fine with that. Ooh, although if they brought up someone. 
But they let go of Princess Kimberly. Stupid WWE. She's my princess. But that's a whole other. Next, we have the U.S. Championship, the Fatal Four Way, or whatever they call it. It's a triple threat. Yeah, whatever the four way is. That's a six pack challenge. Fatal Five Way, Fatal Four Way, yeah, close enough. So you have Orton, Rude, Mahal, and Rusev. It's not. Going to be Rusev Day! Unfortunately, Rusev is not even the pin. I see Orton retaining the belt. It just seems too quick to change hands so quickly. And again, he's always wanted to be healed. This would be a good time to see this. This would be a great time to see heal Orton and just deliver RKOs to everyone. So I see Mahal eating the pin with Randy Orton going over, and then who heal Randy Orton just shows up, doesn't give an interview or interrupts interviews, and just gives RKOs to people. That would actually be fun. Next, you have the bar, 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 bar. Sheamus and Sparrow, do 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 do, versus Braun Strowman and the mystery partner. And I don't know who that mystery partner is going to be. Part of me says not only will he... Ooh, that would be good. Not only will he win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, but just to prove that he got these hands... I'll say Samoa Joe's his partner. Yeah. That would be good. And with this, I'm going to say Braun and Samoa Joe go over. There we go. This way, this just leads on for, for tag team stuff. And it should make at least TV Raws more interesting. Then we have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos versus the New Jay versus Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, this is a tough one. The Bludgeon Brothers are almost slated to get those belts. This time I have to start. My brain says Bludgeon Brothers. My heart says the Usos. The Usos go over. I knew they used to. Then we have our triple threat for the Intercontinental Title Belt. You have The Miz, who's awesome. Versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. I'd honestly like to see Grey Balor or Black Balor. That would be good. I don't think it's... I don't know. Maybe Demon Balor. They do weird things at WrestleMania entrances. I'm, I'm half looking forward to the entrances to WrestleMania because, yeah, you have WrestleMania, you have your regular match entrances, but then your WrestleMania entrances are that much more grander though. So in this match, I have Finn, Bel Finn Balor going over, taking the Intercontinental Championship, probably pinning Rollins. And I think, again, like to wish congratulations to Miz on the birth of his daughter. I just think the WWE should give him some time off to be with his wife. And again, it's a great send-off. The Miz can come back, win this belt whenever. Proud new papa. I want to see him enjoy life. Good luck and best wishes, Miz. But unfortunately, you're not winning. Oh, you know what could happen? I think this happened at a past SummerSlam or WrestleMania in a three-way with The Miz. The Miz puts Seth Rollins into the figure four. Balor does the coup de gras onto Seth. Pin Seth while still in the figure four. Again, Finn Bloor goes over. Next, you have another great match. You have the women's SmackDown champion, Charlotte Flair. Woo! 
First is the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Asuka wins. I think everyone sees this. If I was a betting man, the odds were good, I would bet the house. Up. It's probably the only really guaranteed match. Ooh, I don't have everyone winning. That's interesting. Next match, we have AJ Styles versus Nakamura in a rematch from Wrestle Kingdom 9 or 10. Again, I'm old. My memory gets fuzzy about some things. In this, I see Nakamura going over, and this can lead, this can give AJ some time off. AJ is a tremendous worker, but again, he needs his, he needs his time off. Nakamura, Nakamura wins. AJ Styles gets some time off. And then AJ Styles can always take the belt whenever he feels like it. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is going to leave us with the last two matches. That probably no one. Oh, the last match no one really wants to see. The next match Roundy, R Rowdy R Ronda Rousey. That tongue's supposed to be. Versus. And. Kurt Angle versus Stuffy McMahon and the game Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Rousey and Angle are going over. There's no need to bury. <laughs> you never know. There's no need to bury Ronda Rousey yet. It would be interesting. I don't think Steph would lose. Like, to really put Rousey over, even if Angle, the Angle slam to Triple H. Tags in Ronda Rousey for the pin. Intriguing. Again, after Rousey breaks Stephanie McMahon's arm, I don't think Steph is going to game lead the pin. If they did it right, it would be from Rousey after an angle slam. That would be the happy moment. So again, you have one happy moment, two happy moments, three happy moments. The whole crowd's going to be smiling at me. Yes, 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 yes. They're going to say, Donna, Donna, Donna. And everyone's going to be like, Boo. Because then, probably for the main event, we have Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Champion. The math says Roman Reigns is winning. All indicators say Brock Lesnar is leaving for at least a little bit. Roman Reigns is winning. The crowd is going to go home again, angry and upset. A lot of parallels for some reason with last year's WrestleMania. That's weird. I wonder if they have like. I don't know. Maybe it's coincidence, but. But again, just to recap everything, I have Samoa Joe going over in the Andre the Battle Memorial, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Becky Lynch in the Women's Battle Royal. Cedric Alexander winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Owens and Zayn keeping their jobs, pinning Shane O'Mac. Nia Jax winning the Women's Raw Championship. Orton retains his U.S. belt. Braun. And mystery partner, hopefully Samoa Joe, win the tag team belts. The Usos retain the SmackDown tag belts. Finn Balor wins the Intercontinental belt. Asuka is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. Nakamura's Shinsuke Nakamura is your new SmackDown or new WWF champion, whatever they call it. Ron, Ronda Rousey and Angle win. And Roman Reigns wins the Universal Champion. Again, the crowd will get the great match. Go up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. And then down. Just like it did last year. Um, so that's it for my predictions. Like and subscribe. Again, feel free to email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. 
maybe later tonight, tomorrow I'll put up some WrestleMania pictures, some memories I have from when I went to WrestleMania last year. Because yesterday I put up my picture, my videos, and a little commentary on the WCPW event. Again, from last WrestleMania. So, again, everyone enjoy Wrestle. Everyone enjoy TakeOver tonight. Everyone enjoy WrestleMania. Have a fun and safe time. And you'll see me Monday to 10.